could have helped you. Oh. Hmm. I forgot my green screen. Match found. So I'm stuck here without a green screen today. But that's fine. Up. Did my game seriously just crash, bro? Oh my fucking god. I had Valorant open for like six hours. And the second I get into a game, it crashes. What the fuck? That's my luck. And then it loads right back up. Well, I'm going to be sitting on this screen for a long time. I'll wait for Dale to get back. Dale's, no, Dale's not going to be back till 9, he said. It crashed again. Why? God damn. What is happening? Let me say. Why is it? Why? So stupid. Oh, it's actually dumb. I don't know why it's like this to me. It crashed again. Oh my god. Uh, my task manager. It doesn't even say it's running anymore. Uh, I guess Valorant's just bugging out. Minecraft stream it is, yeah. Let's change the stream title. Playing Minecraft. Cause Valorant won't open. I gotta let's spell Minecraft wrong. How the fuck do I spell Minecraft wrong? Minecraft. Update. I literally just sent my notifications out and everything. Uh, I, mean, I got a mess. I got to send this to Dale. Dale's going to laugh at this. Okay. Oh, why me? <laughs> and then I gotta do this. Might as well put some music on since it's gonna be since I'm gonna play Minecraft.
Actually, no. I'm we'll play this instead. I got loaded yet. Okay, what well is? And then I gotta set this to open Minecraft. And why is Minecraft like humongous? Okay. Make it a bit bigger. And then we gotta turn the music off. No, I'm not single player. Whoops. Realm. I message Quentin. Llama! How the frick did you get down here? Quentin said he left a surprise, but... Nice. Uh, second Llama. Okay, why is this song way louder? Uh... Ooh, maybe this was a surprise. No offense, Llama. I have nothing against you. I just, uh. I just didn't. I'll keep this guy down here, this llama. He's pretty chill. The leather goes in here. And I'll put the chest in there as well. I wanna go mining, actually. Quentin's giving me so many diamonds. Let's make a diamond pick real quick. And then I'm gonna need to make a ton of torches, so I'll keep the rest of these sticks. Uh, crafting table. I'll also make another portal while I'm at it. I'm gonna need way more sticks. This is my wood chest. I don't know why the wood's not in there. Okay, that should be enough torches. And put that back in there. Uh, I might need food as well. I should wait. Whoops. Didn't mean to go back up. Oh, food. Uh, I'll just cook this. Forgot that I. Uh, that's just for decoration. I. My actual. Use my actual furnaces down here. Right there. I gotta wait for this to smelt. Like, you know what? No, whatever. I'll just go mine right now. Oh mine, let's it's let's see if Quentin did any upgrades around here. I doubt it. There's nothing really much to upgrade at this moment. You really gotta fix this hole. There's too many creeper explosions that happened right here. I used to live there, but. Uh, but then Quentin, uh, you know, made it like a boat, meeting at boathouse, meeting house, and now I live in this tiny cabin over here. 
I'm gonna sleep. I flipped my camera in here, but I realized that I flipped it to the way I was looking this way, but I'm my monitor's this way. I got two the mines. Did I make it this? No, I yeah, I did make it this deep. I know I missed a spot right here. Yeah, I got a lot of mining to do before I'm at 11. Spongebob music is so, uh, just so chill. Mm -hmm. Nope. Want to keep that. Because I want to add stairs in here eventually. What am I at? 22? Got a little bit to go, and I can finally start strip mining. I bet I've had this run for at least a week now, and I haven't strip mined at all. I'm, I haven't found diamonds on my own. Only through Quinton. I have a lot of iron. A whole lot of iron. Nope. That block out. Three more blocks. This is by eleven. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. Hmm. I didn't bring any uh, wood down to make stairs. So I gotta go back up and get some wood. I'll expand the hallway out one more on each side so it's five wide. Gotta be two veins of iron in here. This is a lot. That's more. Okay. That up there. One out on each side. And then I'll just strip mine. It's not my diamond pick, it's technically Quintan's because he's giving me all the diamonds. So. I'm really not losing anything. Start right there. You see, I always go on both sides, but then I only stick to one side. So I think I'm gonna just actually just stick to one side. At least for now. Oh, I get like way too far down and then I get lazy. I just feel like I'm mining on the right side is like better for some odd reason. It just feels normal. Cause mining on the left is, it's a weird feeling. I'll take the coal. I 
think I might do another VR stream next week. I might do, uh, what can I do in VR? I could do Pavlov. You know, I'm, I'm afraid of the, uh, the people in Pavlov. They're not very, uh, kind worded people. Or at least most of them aren't. I don't want to get banned. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that, so. I'll have to think of something. Because I can't. I don't know if there's a way to stream my Oculus Quest screen. Because I can. Because the way I did my other VR stream was I. I just hooked my VR headset up to my computer, and then I just, I played games off of my computer, not off the actual quest, but I could just see it through my quest. Like Minecraft, I did, uh, Phasmophobia. I'm wondering if there's a way to, like, share my Oculus Quest screen on my computer, because then I could do, uh... Like attack on attack on quest, it's like attack on VR, but in, wait attack on Titan but in VR. Uh, I could do Beat Saber, super hot. Like I could do all of these because I have all those, but on my quest, not on Steam. So I'm gonna have to I might look that up later this week after I get everything settled in for like school and stuff. I don't want to stress myself too much. Oh wait, oops, I'm mining too low. I don't know how far we'll go down. I haven't really gone that, that far. There's been too much stuff. Any redstone and coal. But hey, that stuff's good. It becomes useful after... A while. <laughs> More coal. You're almost. I'm gonna find a stack of coal. Oh, cave. I'll actually go through the cave. I'm gonna switch the music up. I wanna block myself in so I don't die. Ah, yes. To help your I love this. This, this. this this music is great. I haven't found that this yet. Skippable ad. Ooh. Hope I can find some diamonds over here. Some gold. Yeah, a little bit of gold. Seven. Damn. That's a pretty good vein right there. Oh, diamonds. Where are you? Uh. I'll get the obsidian. Yeah, I want to make sure there's no lava on Cave underneath cave question mark Weird this game is weird Actually, I might want to try and play the news Wait, what the fuck Wait, no actually what is happening? Where am I? Huh? Wait, what? I swear to god, I don't know what the fuck this is. What? Where is this? What the hell is this?
so confused right now. What the? It has to be where Quinten mines. I have mined into Quinten's mine. And for a second, I was like, dude, Hero Brian? He here? He gonna kill me? Because, like, I, no, dead, I'm dead serious. I freaking freaked out the second I saw, like, a. A one by one hallway. Who mines like this? <laughs> Why not in a straight line? God. Oh wait, what? Why is he mine so low? This is a spice. Don't wanna let that go. Freaking Y7, bro. He also missed gold. Who passes up on gold, bro? I think it's time to go back up. Oh, oh my god, did that give me a fucking heart attack? I thought I fell in the lava. Oh, diamonds! Where are you? I'm coming for you. I don't think there's any diamonds over here. Sad. This music is very fitting. There's iron over there. Back to strip mining now. Ugh. Oh wait, we might run into the lava. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my distance. Now we're gonna have to build over the lava. Ooh. Iron. How much iron do I got? 37? I thought I had way more. I can't fucking build. I love, dude. Nintendo makes such great music. Something about their, the, the music in their games. Pokemon and Zelda music just hits different. Like what, like what, what is this right now? This is uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Never heard of it. I love the song though. <laughs> yeah, what, was there a date? Oh. I know this, this, this is Kirby music for sure. Kirby always had that like soft feel to it. Dude, I want them to make a Kirby game for the Switch. I haven't played Kirby in so long. I think the last Kirby game I played, it wasn't the yarn one on the Switch, but that one was that one was a great game. I think it was the. It was one of the ones on the DS where uh, the 3DS where you could make like your multiple copies of yourself or something like that. I really like that one. That one was fun. Now that I think about it, I actually haven't played a lot of Kirby, like ever. I played that one yarn game, which I, I love that yarn one, that one was so, so fun. And there was one where you could like, there was different elements, I don't know if that was the yarn one, or what, but 
I really liked that one too. That one was fun. Oh, so I have an art project to do. I'm given given a due date yet, but for Monday I have to bring in my sketchbook eleven like it's thumbnails. So thumbnails are like you know like little sketches of what you like what you're planning out to do, and I don't want to do the the zodiac signs. Those fucking suck. So uh, he you know he loves me. You know who doesn't love me? Women obviously, but. Uh, yeah, he said I don't have to do the zodiac sign, but I have to do something incorporating, uh, like, ten, uh, there was 12 or 13 different characters, and, like, all in, like, my same, like, on, like, my style, so I was like, okay, I could do Pokemon, but Pokemon's boring, like, if I do Pokemon, I'm gonna do, like, you know, like, a lizard, or, I was like, I put my characters, but then, like, you know, half of them are, like, Toad Road Girls, so. Then I came to the conclusion, what if I do Dragon Ball characters? I was like, damn. Because I, I was going to do My Hero Academia characters. I have like so many of those in my sketchbook though. I mean, it would be easy, but I don't want to take the easy route. I mean, I want to. That's why I'm doing Dragon Ball. That's why I don't want to do Zodiacs. <laughs> but I don't want to... I don't, I don't. I have too many Izuku Midoriya pictures in my sketchbook. Diamonds. Tip number one, always mine straight down. What's the worst that can happen? You die? No, you don't die. Diamond? on the other side bro I don't need iron but I want it something about iron is just like you know it calls me like even when I have full netherite I'm like ooh, as much iron as I can have baby I want to make sure I cover that up I want to make sure I get the iron How have I not found any diamonds yet? Like, at all. Changes up, right? Yeah. Ugh. Got a lot of stuff, but not not a lot of good stuff. How did I miss iron, bro? I'm so mad at myself. I almost missed out on two iron. Wow. I need. Oh my God, dude. More iron. I'm gonna be rich. Uh, never as much to my ear it is. I'll go down a little bit further. Probably, uh, which is mine. Oh, yeah, I'll probably go to 1640. That's where I'll go to. So, as of right here, that's 10 blocks. This is my 
mining point. I always like making these like a uh, little like, not checkpoints, cause uh, I don't go beyond them. But like just like spots where like I turn around. I just feel like it's a. Uh, it's better than having to walk all the way back here, cause then I can, you know, find new things in here. And I'll expand it a little bit more. I'm thinking stream's not gonna be too long today, cause you know. They also be back around nine, and I kind of want to play Valorant like all tonight. I want to grind. Well, Ryan's freaking getting carried, so I, I don't want him to be higher ranked than me. If I'm doing, if I should be a higher rank than him, and I'm actually trying my hardest, and he's out here getting carried, well, that's the point. So, might as well try really hard this weekend. I want to. Dale is in silver three right now, and I'm in silver two. I think they might have a good chance of making it to gold this season. Like, even if I'm low gold, we have a really good chance of being gold. Do I think we deserve gold? Eh, I don't know. I don't know if we're, like, as good as gold players. We're, we're definitely better than the silver players that we're getting queued with. I can say that. I mean, we're getting queued with some gold players who suck, but... I mean, it all comes down to how we actually do in, in game. Because I, I do really good, but then, you know, sometimes I have an off game where I go like five kills and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm, no, not five kills. I, probably the lowest I got this week was like nine. And I always do good when we lose. It's so upsetting. Like, I, I do really good. I go like 25, 25 kills. And then my team goes like two kills, and I'm like, what? How? How do you do this bad? How do I go this long without finding a freaking diamond? A single diamond? What is this game? Come on, I'm at Y11, right? Yeah. I have found almost two stacks of iron. Like, come on. Oh, excuse me. Second half, pretty good, pretty good. Plus, like you know, the two stacks I have at my house. Yeah. Also, stream won't be that long because I have to reset my computer. Because that's why Valen's bugging out. Sometimes when I when it does that, I just restart my computer. Have to work. And, you know, I'm on my laptop, so, you know, it's going to take me a good half an hour for my computer to be back working <laughs> in actual function, functioning conditions. It's so common just sitting here, just chatting. Like, I know clearly no one's here, which is the sad part. Check real quick. Is is anyone here? No, no, no one's here. Just me, talking to myself. But you know, I do upload these to YouTube, and you guys on on YouTube, if you're watching this, thank you, thank you for uh, supporting me. And why not, uh, you know, why not subscribe? I have a happy content, mostly happy content. Sometimes there's a little bit of rage. And I post every day except Sunday. I'm not saying you gotta watch every single one of my videos. No one has to. 
You don't even have to watch one. But if you're here and you if you've made it 38 minutes into this video, I'm assuming that you're at least somewhat intrigued. So why not? Why not subscribe? What what's the harm in doing so? If anything, you're you're helping me. And you know, being a small content creator, it helps. I'm not saying don't go subscribe to big content creators because they definitely put work in and deserve it, but you know, I'm also pouring my heart and soul into this and I want it to be my profession one day, hopefully. And uh, sometimes I know dreams can come true, but I know I most likely won't be able to do this for a living. I'm only 16, but Something makes me feel like, uh, you know, this is just a phase, but I don't want to think that way. I want to feel like I can actually succeed off of this. Because I know I can actually succeed off this. I've already received a paycheck from Twitch itself. I've, uh, I've made friends on here. Like, I've grown a community of 136 followers, which is kind of big. For me, I guess. Uh, and I kind of just, uh, I, have, I have good hopes. My, I don't, I don't want to like be down all the time. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm, I can't make it. It's a waste. Nah, I don't want people to put me down either. People can hate on me all they want for doing this, but what's it gonna do to me? Not that I'm still gonna do it. They can't stop me from doing what I love. I love, uh, I'm just making content, streaming, YouTube. I'm not the best, I'm not the best editor, but when I do, I actually, I actually enjoy editing. I don't do it a lot, but I edited an intro for my YouTube channel. And I, I think it came out pretty good. It took me like half an hour. I, uh, I recorded it and I put some stuff together. I think it came out pretty good. And, uh. I wanted to, not hire, but like, have one of my friends start editing my videos, and I was like, but then like, you know, what are they going to get for it? You know, I don't want to not give them anything, so I was like, I'll pay them, but like, I don't, I don't have a steady income. I how, what am I supposed to pay them with? I don't really have anything to go off of, it's just, uh, me doing my thing. I don't really get much uh, payment out of all of this, and all the payment I do, it's uh, I appreciate it. And I think all you guys who have subscribed and donated and done all this, cause it it makes me feel like. That I'm actually like doing something good. Like I'm making something for people to enjoy. And that they're actually enjoying it. It's not like I'm going out here making bad content and hoping it does good. No. I'm trying to do my best and make good content for people. Sometimes it's hard. Most of the time it's hard. Not everything I do is gonna be good. That's why I like just like, you know, that's why I don't post on my YouTube channel as much. I don't know what's gonna go good, what's gonna go bad. I don't know what people like, I don't know what people don't like. But I, I know I should post what I like, what I like, personally. Cause that, that isn't that what you want? I don't wanna do something that I don't like. I don't wanna. Like, like, if I have an actual job, I don't want to sit there at a, in a cubicle for six, eight hours a day, hating life. That's why I want to stream. I love doing it. And, uh, it's my dream. <laughs> I 
That's enough ranting for me. Uh, I have, I went on a rant for a good 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so cringy. Oh my god. But like, it actually, it makes me think sometimes, like, what if I, like, what would it actually look like if I actually popped off as a streamer? How would life, how would my life change? What about me would change? Like, would I lose friends? My, I wouldn't get disowned, but how would my parents think? If I didn't get an actual job and I did this full time, would they support me? Probably. I'm like 99% sure they would. Like, who wouldn't support their child fulfilling their dream? And I know some parents out there are stricter than others. But, like, seriously, like, put some thought into it. Would it really pain you that much to see your child love what they do? Is it that hard to support them in something that is giving them joy? Like, I know my dad is all for me streaming and stuff. And same with my mom, but, you know, sometimes I think they think that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna go, eventually go away. I'm not gonna be doing this forever. In fact, I don't think they think that I can, this can actually be like a forever thing. Like, you know, maybe like I get to like my 30s and I can, I can't, and I have to get an actual job and work at like a convenience store. And then I might have to. I'm not saying that's not what I gotta do. But, uh,. It makes me think sometimes just about like what goes on in their brains when I say, hey, I want to be a streamer full time. Like look at, uh, look at like Ludwig, Ludwig, for example, he's been streaming for a good like three or four years. He didn't start out famous. I wouldn't consider him famous right now, but he's he's well living right now. He I don't think he could retire right now, but Jax, uh, first off, Val won't open. It keeps crashing, so I'm playing Minecraft, and uh, I got Diet Coke because it's what I have. If it's so terrible for me, so be it. I've been addicted to Diet Coke ever since my mom started buying it, and regular Coke just doesn't taste the same. So, that's why I'm drinking it. It's just mud I drink now. I can't stop myself from like, doing it. If you want, I can go get some chocolate milk, but I don't want to get up. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a, you know, I'm just like, speaking my mind. It's not called an addiction. It's just, you know, I'm just drinking it. Yeah, I might have too much of it, but I'm not gonna, I mean, I could die, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die. If I'm having, this is my first soda today. It's 8.49 p.m. I'm gonna, I literally just finished it. So, I'm probably just gonna get water or milk after this stream. I've been dying down on the soda recently. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get addicted to it. Or I wanna at least stop my addiction from it. But I know it's bad. I know I have a lot of soda. But it's just so good. I don't know how they made something so good. 
Like, I haven't... Last time I had candy. Let me think about this. It's probably Christmas time. Or at least, like, an absurd amount of candy. Because I had uh, Mike and Ike's a few weeks ago. But, like... I haven't had, like, you know... Tons and tons of candy since, like... My stocking for Christmas. And I think, like, you know... I think it's just because, like, I... I was like, no, I don't want it anymore. I just stopped having it. And I think the same thing's going with soda, you know? I've been having a lot of water recently. And, uh... I think that's been helping me, because I've been drinking a lot of water. Less soda. Yeah. So I wouldn't say I'm addicted. I wouldn't say I'm addicted to soda. No, not as much as I was a few months ago. But what you are addicted to, Ryan, is Valheim. Valheim. Val whatever it is. However you, however you say it. Freaking 26 hours in like a week. Well, that's absurd. It may say I'm on Valorant for eight hours, but that's because I'm not doing anything for half those hours. I'm just online waiting for someone to be on. <laughs> I probably played yesterday like six games. And it said I was on for like 12 hours because I just didn't shut it down. I just kept it open. Waiting for someone to log on and be like, yo, you want to play? And I'd be like, okay. Like at nighttime when Dale goes to bed, I just leave it open and I just... I just watch YouTube. I don't actually play the game. I'm just uh, keeping it there just in case, you know, someone does send me an invite. Or just in case uh, I feel like doing something. I made a sword and I didn't need to. But half the time, I'm just like, I don't want to do anything. Maybe just seeing the game open is enough for me sometimes. I don't want to be addicted to video games. I'm addicted to my computer. That's a that's an obvious one. But uh, I don't want to be stuck to a game. Like I love playing Pokemon, but I can't. I can play it all day long, but I don't want to. I want to do something else, another than just one thing over and over again. That's. I would have played Valorant today, but it won't load, so I'm playing Minecraft, and I think it's actually better for me now. Now that I've been in it for 50 minutes. I just don't want to overdo myself with the, the same stuff. Where'd the llama go? The llama's gone. It despawned. That is big sad. I need this. Bam, 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 bam. You know, actually, let's check right now. Is Ryan on Valheim? No, he's on Valorant for the first time. Oh my gosh. He's about to get carried. Oh my god. Crazy, isn't that? Isn't that crazy? Bonkers, bro. Absolutely bonkers. But I will, uh... I'll, you know what? I'm thinking of not doing Valorant tomorrow, actually. What could I play tomorrow? That I have on my laptop. I could do, uh... I guess I could just do a, a reaction stream. Or just a just chatting stream, actually. Just sit here and talk. I love just sitting here and talking. I feel... It makes me feel happy. I like just venting about random stuff. I feel like it's a uh, good for me in a way. I get stuff off my chest. And even like personal issues. I don't mind talking about them. I'm not gonna get emotional on stream. I've learned to cope with my emotions and not really get that emotional. 
I've been through so much trauma. <laughs> I just make everything a joke now. Not really a joke, but I just try and make everything happy and lighthearted. I try and make everything in my life happy. Uh, I made going to get milk with my dad this morning, uh, this afternoon happy. <laughs> Just making co jokes in the car and stuff. Like you can make anything in in your life sound happy, but unless you're actually happy doing it, it's you're not doing anything for yourself. You can't be happy doing something you don't like. You have to think of yourself and how you're treating yourself before you do stuff like that. Like I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. I'm just vibing in Minecraft, not really doing much, talking to no one. Or do I mind? Not really. Yeah, I'm not talking to anyone, but, you know, it feels good to just get this stuff out of my chest. Just to, like, you know, let loose and just talk. Because when I'm not on stream, I don't, I don't talk like this, I'm the, I just sit back and, and, like, watch a YouTube video or something. But when I'm on stream, I feel like I, I have to talk. I have to just do something. Not, not to like make content, but like, you know, for myself, personally. One, so I don't feel like I'm alone. And two, so I can make myself happy by, you know, talking about things I like, talking about things uh, I'm going through. And then someone will eventually hear this. This might go around to someone on YouTube and they might listen to this and think wow that guy he's he's speaking facts he's a uh, he knows what he's talking about but I sometimes you know I'm just going off of sometimes nothing my brain just rambles on and on non-stop and uh, I don't know how to stop it I just go then once I'm going I'm going and it just continues <sighs> But I can't do that in school, dude. I fucking suck. <laughs> I try and be the quietest kid in school because I don't want to make a bad impression about myself. I don't talk in school all that much. I don't raise my hand all that much. I don't want to put a bad impression and be like, hey, do 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 do. I'm a stupid head. No, I, I I focus in school. I try and be smart. I try and I try my best. When I'm out here, I'm like. Fuck it, bro. Why not crack some jokes? Why not act stupid? What's wrong with that? You know, going to a Catholic school, it's kind of hard to, like, you know, make jokes that, uh, you know, won't get me, <laughs> won't get me expelled, or... You know, sometimes I want to say a joke about, like, balls or something, but, you know, Knowing the standards, I'd probably get sent to the principal's office. I can't just like yell out in the middle of class. Why would I do that? There's no reason to. My what? Are the, what are my teachers gonna do? What I mean, what did they do? They told me to do my homework. I still haven't done have my homework. I only do my homework during the week. That's due the Friday. My English and my Spanish, I save till Sundays and Saturdays because uh, I'm lazy. I don't like those classes. And I'm glad because this is my last year of Spanish. I'm going to pass. But if I don't pass, I got to retake it. But I'm going to pass, so I'm not worried. English is a... Uh... You know, let me vent a little bit about English class. It's only good if you have a good teacher. English class can be a pain... Or it can be a joy. Last year, my freshman year of high school, I was going into my English class hating it because my I had the same English teacher through middle school through 
yeah, through middle school, for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, who absolutely hated me. Not for any, like, particular reason. No, because my hair was too long. It was below my collar. Like, come on. And so, you know, that put me down. My teacher was like, you know, oh, you're gonna cut your hair, and no, you're not proper. Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, that always made me feel bad. But I go to, I go to my new high school. Never been there. Have to make all new friends. No one person. I make new friends. I meet the teachers. I'm friends with the teachers. But my English teacher, Miss, well, Miss Bizen was her name. She kind of got me, in a way. She understood me. I didn't like. I wasn't like a, a normal English student, just like sitting there, like writing what we were supposed to, you know. I'd go on tangents like I do when I'm talking. I'd kind of like spit my heart into what I wrote in that class. And like she loved it. She was like, wow, this is good. This is really good. Oh my God. Thank you. And like, you know, it kind of inspired me to, you know, actually try in my English class, make some good writing. But I was like, you know, I, don't, I was a addicted to writing horror stuff you know i was i loved horror and so that's what i wrote i think it put the impression on me that i was like a a weirdo because like this like this kid will call him uh we'll call him tom tom uh he thought I, he thought i was a murderer a serial killer like he'd sat behind me and i'd be like, yeah, bro, you know, you heard about the murder, <laughs> crazy. And then he'd be like, Patrick, you're weird. And I'd be like, oh, well, you know, it kind of made me feel like I was being excluded or I was, I was the the weird one. But you know, I'm just trying to, I'm try, I was trying to be a, a character. I was trying to be funny. But I realized that, yeah, you know, just because. The English teacher likes my writing. Doesn't mean anyone else is. I mean, one of the kids will call him. We'll call him Bill. He wrote about a. He wrote a poem about socks, like cum socks. And the teacher had no idea what was going on. He got the whole class laughing. Like what the fuck? It was really funny though. It was a funny poem. And. uh but he wasn't the brightest kid. The teacher didn't like him. The teacher's not gonna like everyone. Class is gonna like everyone. I feel like him and I are complete opposites, but we were we were kind of like best friends. We sat together at lunch. We played pool on our phone. You know, we sat next to get shut next next to each other in English class. It was crazy. But, you know, he was the class's favorite. I was the teacher's, f not favorite, but teacher's, one of the teacher's favorites. But then I go into sophomore year this year, and uh, I'm like going into hopes that, you know, ah, my English teacher, she's going to love my writing. She loves it. Not how it goes. Now, this is why I say not every English teacher is going to like how you write. The problem with English teachers is they have preferences not every teachers not every english teacher is going to want you to write the same way they're not going to want to read the same way they're not going to want to teach the same way which i find really stupid if you're gonna teach kids every a different teacher every year a different way to write and a different way to go about English what's the point of the year before that if they're just gonna take the, what they had the year after that like am I gonna ever gonna use the stuff I learned in seventh grade no I'll probably use the stuff I learned this year and then next year I'm not gonna use the stuff I learned this year but I'll use the stuff that I learned in English class next year My English teacher 
does not like my writing this year. I don't know what it is. I'm writing the exact same way I was last year. The way I like to write. And she just doesn't like it. She thinks it's, uh... Something about it that she doesn't like. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the fact that I'm... I just don't know how to explain it. I don't know what it what it is that I gotta do to make her like my writing. I don't know if there is anything I can do to make her like my writing. I think I'm just like, you know, stuck in this this mindset that, you know, oh, just, everyone's gonna like my writing because uh, this teacher a few years ago liked it. Sometimes, why can't I just write to be, to be happy? Why can't I write to, to write what I want to write? Do I really have to write a certain way to graduate from school? Do I have to know how to spell certain words to do good in life? No. What am I ever going to need to know how to do all that stuff? I don't... I'm never gonna need to know how to spell a, what's what's a stupid word that I had this year. It was like mess up on a bit of bit of it, something like that. I don't fucking like, know. Like, why am I gonna need that? Why? I can just Google it. If I can just Google the word, what what's the point of learning the word? It's definition. If I can just type on a Word document and it fixes my corrections for me, what's the point? If it tells me what I'm doing wrong and it's not going to deduct me points or anything, Is it really that bad that I need to not nah, don't need to that I don't want to learn this? Like no. I actually got my English thing right here. In conversation, a writer's handbook. Right here. I have an assignment in this this weekend. And it's about I don't even know what it's about. Uh, let me see if I can find a thing. But like, I don't fucking know. This book sucks. But like, every, not every book is the same. Do you think Dr. Seuss was liked by his high school teachers? I don't know. Probably not. He wrote, he wrote, he wrote children's books. If his teachers wanted to write him a five paragraph essay and he came up with green eggs and ham, what do you think they were gonna say? Oh, that sucks. You'll you'll never you'll do bad in life. You're gonna fail high school. Look at him now. He was a billionaire, not billionaire. He was a millionaire. He would be a billionaire. Doctor Seuss is everywhere, except now he's being canceled because of cancel culture, which is stupid. But that's besides the point. Let's think of another writer. Cause like my teacher right now, I swear to God, she only likes writers that were like big for like long speeches or books, like big books. No, not like, uh, you know, probably Shakespeare, but not like Do uh, Dr. Seuss is an example. I don't think she's like, oh my God, Dr. Seuss is the best author. He writes the best things. One fish, two fish, right fish, red fish, blue fish. Like, oh my god. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. If I wrote that, I don't think my English teacher would like that. I think she'd be like, what the frick is this? Get that out of my face. That's stupid. What if I come up here with the, the exquisite form of the paragraph? Paragraph? Can you... The exquisite form of uh, 
com combustion in sciences, blah, 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 on and on and on. I think I do better writing in my biology class than I do in my English class. Probably because, like, you know, I'm like, okay, every teacher I have thinks my writing is good. My theology teacher loves my writing. She says I have such a way with the words. But my English teacher, she's just like, no, you can't write. Write this way. And the next year, I'm going to have to write a whole completely different way because that teacher doesn't like the way the other teacher wrote. If there was an English teacher write-off, no one would win because no one would be able to choose. They would just be able to, like, I only like my stuff, the stuff that I do. Unless you do my stuff, it's not good to me. That's my opinion. That's why I think English class should be canceled. Let's start a movement. Cancel English class for every every student. It's a waste. Oh yeah. Mason, thank you for the seven months with Prime. Appreciate it. The man. I'm just going on a rant about how English teachers uh suck. Yeah. They don't like how kids write unless it's their preference they only like how they write that's why every year that's why i only had one english teacher that likes my writing i've been going to school for my whole life 15 years and only one english teacher has liked my writing and she got fired <laughs> i think it's because like you know she she freaking talk like a Freaking psychopath. She freaking talked about kids turning students on. It was weird. <laughs> she yelled. She yelled in class. She's like, I'll, I'll, I'll call him Steven. She went, Steven, quit, quit turning me on. And I was like, the whole class was so confused. We don't even know what she meant. But I miss her. She was nice. It's cool an announcement today about how it is bad to say retarded. I don't understand the banning of words. Preferably. Preferably words that, uh, you know. Can be used in a good. Can be used in a good uh, context. Like, I don't think you should go around calling people that. Like, in the streets. But if someone is actually being a dumbass, what's wrong with it? Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, so yeah. they were the only people complaining about it were like these fifteen-year-old. That's the cancel culture. They're just a lot of white fifteen-year-old girls. Exactly, and it's not like I'm I'm actually calling mentally handicapped people. You know, it's just mm -hmm. when someone does stupid stuff. Yeah. Mm. No, now I that I think about it, this stream has just been me playing Minecraft talking about cancel culture <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> also about passion, like my passions. What's your passions? No, I went on a rant from like probably 30 minutes into the stream to like 50 minutes in the stream about how, you know, people's dreams can come true and, you know, just because some people might not think it. You gotta put your heart to it and it can come true. Not everything's gonna be the way you want it, but. You no, know, you just gotta put your mind to it, your heart and soul into it, and. And you can. Like, yeah, clearly you're not gonna fly. You can't imagine to grow wings. It has to be realistic. I believe I can grow wings. Like, do I believe I can become believe in yourself, as big Dale. as Ninja? Levitt. Probably I not. believe! I don't. Oh, I don't believe that my streaming career will pop off like Ninja. You know, I, I can levitate. No way. No way. Bro. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm doing it right now, actually. <laughs> kind of like Astra in Valorant. You know, she just goes into that state of mind. Like who? The new it's character a in new Valorant. New character. She like goes into like this like freaking meditation, meditation form. She floats in the air. She goes, what is up like, with me and you today? Mm. We've been saying the same stuff all at right. the same time all I'll day. Be, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bro, I say that's kind of... Me and you have been in I, sync. <laughs> I say that's kind of as you say it. Bro, I say... 
just randomly, after five hours, I'm gone. I text, I'm gonna be home at nine, and send it at the same time you ask when I'm gonna be home, bro. Like, what the heck? No shit, Dude, no was, shit, like, no scared. shit, no shit. I start, I started, I pressed W, and I saw the Die Warriors typing, and I'm like, no, I gotta finish this sentence. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird, bro. Nah, dude, we've been yeah, in bro. sync. So oh, weird. I just got kicked. Yeah, I have to restart my computer if I want to play Valorant. Okay. Because you know it has oh, a, I, my computer has a bug where it won't load okay, unless I restart it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna come to you. Where are your cords? What What is up with my game? Negative fourteen forty. Negative thirteen eighty. I'm really lagging. I'm walking on water. Nice. Okay, why am I lagging? So How does this baby zombie see me? What the frick? I'm on top of my house. You died. I, I didn't hit it. I moved to like... Yeah, I'm like, get the money stuff. Oh, no. Money, I don't get it when I move it. I have 14 teeth. Nice. Lil Ryan and Jax came in my stream earlier. And that they were talking about how, uh, you know, get good at Valorant. And then, so Jack said, get good at Val first and learn what a good soda is. As I'm talking about how I think I, sh I could be a streamer one day, like out of nowhere, I'm playing Minecraft, first of all. Uh, <laughs> and then I said, I'm only addicted to, I said, I only like Diet Coke because it's what my mom used to get me because she used to think that that's better for me for my braces. That's worse. I know it is worse, but now the regular Coke doesn't taste the same. It tastes bad. I've grown to, I've grown to the taste of Diet Coke over the past three years of drinking it without regular Coke. I had regular Coke the other day, and it wasn't good. I almost threw up. It was that bad. <laughs> and then Ryan said that. And then when I talked about how I like how I've been having a lot of Diet Coke, he says that's called an addiction. I called it. I went. Yeah, it's addiction that you've been playing Valheim for twenty six yeah, hours in the past week. <laughs> <laughs> and then he left. Then he left my stream. I don't even know if he heard it or what. Silver two. He's yeah. playing Val right now. The one time we're not on. He's been away. No, but he's in the. Uh, oh, he was. He was in the Vatos yeah. chat. They're in a custom lobby right now. Oh, he's probably doing so bad. With mythic. Yeah. No, he's not playing with them though, that's the thing. What? <laughs> it's it's Jax, Nick, Mythic, and I think one more person I don't know who. I still yeah, I still have solo ads. Let's see if solo's career. No, oh, it's probably one. solo. Solo wasn't at VC with them. Like twenty minutes nah, ago. Uh it's not him because I haven't added. We has an alt. I, don't know I mean they're going. on the main account, so Mm -hmm. uh, that's true. I gotta put um, glass back. How long? Here. How long do you think you're gonna be streaming for? You Another like five minutes. Another five minutes? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it's over now. I'm gonna play you. <laughs> no. I wanna. Sorry, I wanna yeah. rank up tonight. I wanna get to silver three, baby. I didn't feel like playing another game, dude. I was like, I didn't. I didn't. I'm. I wasn't afraid. I'm gonna do bad. I was afraid everyone else was gonna do bad. Cause every time I solo queue, my team is poopies. Like, I do bad when I play with you, but when I play with myself, I do good and everyone else is bad. I swear, I do horrible on stream for some reason, but when we're not on stream, I pop Same. off. Same. Yeah. And I'm thinking tomorrow, and I don't do Valorant stream. I'm thinking something else. Maybe I go back to my roots. I play Overwatch tomorrow, but I'd have to do, like, oh. a five-hour update. <laughs> <laughs> Overwatch? Overwatch? What? 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 I don't. I don't want to do a five-hour update. Knowing this computer and how long it takes to update Valorant for one gigabyte, yeah. it'll take me three days to upload. No, not to upload. To download the update. I might just end stream now. Actually, not thinking about it. Okay, you guys have a nice night. I'll bye see bye. you all tomorrow. Thank you guys for listening to me rant about random shit today. No? Kenny, what do you you want me to you want me to keep venting? I can keep venting if you want. If that's what you want, I'll Yeah.
Oh no, I might grab some jam. <laughs> I didn't even close Minecraft down. It's not even showing up stream anymore. What the frick? I broke my I broke my stream. Oh, never mind. It's because Minecraft crashed. That's a sign. I got to end stream. Sorry, Kenny. I'm so sorry. But tomorrow, just 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 drop a follow. You know, no, I'm not forcing you to drop a follow. Thank you for showing up, though. I really do appreciate it. You no, know, I don't usually get randoms in here a lot. Okay, now now I'm getting concerned. Now there's two randoms in here. Who day? Wait, where are you in? I'm still on stream. This is weird now. Two people that don't follow me join at the same time and talk. I'm not saying they're they're Jack. Or... Well, thank you for the follow, uh, Lex Chilled. I appreciate it. But you know, I kind of do got to end stream. I don't want to do bad on Valorant. So back to this this tap for the third time tonight. <laughs> this time I'm actually gonna go, guys. Goodbye. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. You made my day. I haven't had a follow in like two weeks, so thanks. Uh, you guys have a nice night. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't have to be there if you don't want to. You know, if you want to see me again, I'll be here. I'm always here. Every day, 8 p.m. EST, except Sunday. So, you can show up whenever you want. Have a nice night, guys. I love you. And laters.